What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a new video. I've been a bit MIA the last couple of days but most of it is due to me celebrating Ramadan and everything finishing up so as of today uh, I'm back to normal schedule. So I'm gonna attempt to go do two uploads again a day and try to work back in the streams on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Besides that, let's get into the video. So update notice, tomorrow's video, sorry, tomorrow's update or tonight's update is going to give us a couple of things. Chapter 9, new story, more gems. I'm not, I'm trying to remember what came out with Chapter 9, if anything came out at all. So let's do sdsgc.gg, that's not the thing. There we go. We go to update schedule. With chapter 9, we got equipment engraving, red mon speed, blue team Meliodas. So, a couple things here are lining up. We are getting blue team Meliodas, but we'll talk about that in a second. Limit break hero level 80. We got level 80 pretty early on JP. Like right after we got 75, within two or three weeks, we got 80. And it felt very, very rushed. So I do like that we had a decent amount of time at 75, gives us enough time to farm up materials. I probably have like 300 gray wings right now, but nowhere near enough of the uh, the ears. So I'm going to need those. I believe it's 30 of each. I could be wrong. I, I don't remember the exact number to go to 80, but that's, uh, you know, you need the demon ears and then you need the, or the howlix ears and you need the, the wings. Now, going forward with level 80, I was hoping they'd give us character level 80 as well. We're still stuck on 70, or account level 80, I guess. Uh, that that would have been nice. The earlier they give it to us, it, it does make it better for us, because it means we have more stamina and more friend points to give out as well, because you have more friend slots. But it's not that big of a deal. We'll get 80 probably within the next month. So, let's move on to the draw. Increased drop rate for new hero, SSR Knight of Wrath Demon Meliodas. Now this is the Demon Meliodas that wipes and annihilates PvP, okay? This is the guy, he's amazing AoE, just generic farmer, right? But he's not really like a... Uh... He's nothing like too amazing in PvE besides the farming aspect. He is a good unit, right? He is a good character. He'll help you out in story, things like that. But for the most part, you don't really use him too much in PvE. He's not really used in raids that much. You can use him in extreme, uh, extreme red and hell red. But besides that, I don't know. Uh, he's really just PvP. So base what you're going to summon him on or not, like if you're going to summon or not, base that off of whether you want, you know, a better PvP team or not. Simple as that. And he's going to pair very well with Lilia. Uh, not green Lilia that just came out, blue Lilia whenever she drops. So that's going to be like the main combo. Now blue Lilia will be guaranteed, but Meliodas is not. So if you get, if you get Meliodas, I highly recommend saving up for blue Lilia so you can get her on her rotation for 252 gems. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. You save up so you can get Blue Lilia, but I would not really, like, even if you are going for Demon Meliodas, I would not spend too much on him. Even though he's going to run the meta, doesn't mean that the other teams are not, there aren't other teams viable. Don't think of this as like a, you know, if you don't summon for him or you miss out on summoning for him, all of a sudden it's over, because that happened to me. I did two rotations on his banner, didn't get him, and I didn't get him for uh, about four months. And I had to play PvP without Demon Meliodas, and it was harder for me. I was still, like, I would play King Brum or I'd play Escanor teams. But even then, uh, it would end up working out, right? New costumes, Demon Meliodas costume, uh, costume set, and then we have, oh, sorry, it's Most Malevolent Knighthood costume set. Now, this is probably one of my favorite costume sets of the entire game. It's, we're going to be getting Escanor. Uh, Merlin and Meliodas, and there will be a second portion to it that'll have Bon King Gother on it. I think it's just those three. These are going to be fully UR costumes. You will, you know, have to pay for them at first, or if you wait for the bundles to run out, 
then you can buy them with uh, gems. It'll be 30 gems a piece. Keep that in mind. Now, miscellaneous stuff. Some of the content mentioned in the dev notes will be available on the 100th day anniversary update. So this isn't the 100th day anniversary. Clear tickets and patrols, knighthood, boss battle, enic, enic, consecutive equipment, draw improvements, and auto salvage. Pretty much, this is irrelevant because we're not getting it right now. If you guys read up on the... What is it? Uh, the dev notes. If you read up on the dev notes, they explained here the stuff that they were coming out with because you know, oh, we were disappointed in this was pretty much the the, the response to the Lilia outrage without them actually addressing Lilia at all. They pretty much said that they're releasing these things now. We were already getting these things anyways. That's uh, if you want to care about that, I made a video on that. So yeah, I don't really care too much about these things. We'll get them. We were gonna get them anyways. Uh, we're not getting them tomorrow. It seems like we're getting them in a little bit. It is nice to get this for the gear summons and uh, skip tickets. I'll gladly take those. Those are just good uh, mechanics to have in the game. Skip tickets is a nice introduction. It makes grinding a little bit easier. It also lets you use, like you save your skip tickets for two times and you use them there. So let's go take a look at Demon Meliodas and we'll leave it there. I wonder why. Did they just like stop including all the extra pages? I really like when they did that. Before, if you were on the forums, they'd have the pages to all the new characters, everything that they were doing. But it doesn't look like they're doing uh they're doing that anymore. Not a fan of that. I wish they would go back. Like I, I like having to have all the events open, everything that we're getting. The one thing that I didn't mention is the slime collab is going away. So by tonight, whenever it is, it's probably past the patch notes, but slime collab and Lilia are going away, meaning if you didn't get them, they're gone. Slime collab, as of now, has never returned on JP. I'm not saying that it won't return, but you shouldn't count or expect on it returning. So if you didn't get the units, you didn't get the units. Keep in mind, they're only okay units in terms of, like outside the fact that they're a collab unit, if you're just looking at them as how good they are in game and how much value they give to you, they're okay units. So if you don't care about the collectible aspect of it, you're absolutely missing out on nothing. Lilia, if you didn't summon for her, completely fine. She'll be on future original character banners. You'll have a chance to pick her up there. Let's go take a look at Blue Demon Meliodas. And then we'll end it off there. Meliodas. I think I gotta do this, right? Meliodas is pretty decent, so I wouldn't say why am I saying that? Meliodas is amazing, okay? His passive is pretty good. When the hero has four or less ultimate move gauge, the hero's attack cannot be disabled. This is really nice against Gother comps. You just can't be disabled. So you can always attack. And Gother's attack seal is really it's really, really strong. So it is a good passive and it comes in handy way more than you think. First move is AoE with three times pierce rate. You should build him. I don't know if you build him full pierce or if you build him uh, per some amount of pierce. I gotta double check the math again. I know a couple of my there was a couple of YouTubers who did make a, a video on it, and I'll probably you know once I figure it out, I'll make my own video and reference their stuff. But I believe it is either half pierce or full pierce. You run on Meliodas for maximum damage. He does a boatload of damage. That's really it, right? He does a boatload of damage. You pair him with Lilia, Blue Lilia, whenever she comes out, and she gives additional pierce rate, which is why they work together. And that's it. This man just hits like a truck and obliterates everything. That's all it comes down to. He just hits too hard with this one move. Going down to here, Corrosion is a fine skill. It's not anything amazing, but it's a very easy activator for his ultimate, which is the same ultimate that Red Demon Meliodas has. Requires weak point. This does give an easy debuff for anyone who also has weak point on your team. If you happen to be running with a Jericho or Benimaru with someone else with weak point, it works out there. But the main thing is simply this one move. And yeah, that's it. It's the same move that Hauser has, Red Hauser. It just does damage. That's all it is. 
it's mostly because of his base stats are pretty high. You take a look at this, he's got 40% pure straight to start off with. Now, if I was to show you Red Hauser, Red Hauser only has 20% pure straight, and this is a humongous difference, right? Three times pure straight, this is going to 60%, whereas this is going to 120. So it's literally double, right? You're getting 60% more pure straight because Demon Meliodas' base stats are better. Let's compare the other stats. 440 attack, Demon Meliodas has more base attack. And uh, what does uh, the other stuff look like? All right, forgot to mention, 50% crit chance and higher crit damage. It's just like all of his offensive stats are better, which is why he he's just, I don't want to say he's upgraded Hauser because he's not double AOE and he's not AOE on his ultimate, but he's very, very similar to Hauser, but stronger in this portion. So there you go, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a quick rundown on Demon Meliodas. I will make a Should You Summon and talk about it more tomorrow morning. But until then, have a good one. Peace out.